Good morning, my dear ninth students. This time I'm ex I'm introducing the new chapter, third one that is geometry, the elements of geometry. Actually, this is allotted for project work. In the ye yoke single question board ex examination lo formative assessment lo gan radu. So definitely. So you can take a separate notebook, separate notebook lo fresh book lo project work karan chesi ne neyde the process jeptu na as it is ga mere work complete jayendi. Yeah, yeah, mana doubts ne clarify jesta within two days lo na submit jaya le. Okay na. See, ninth students, this is project work 1. The project work 1 is the chapter 3, the elements of geometry. The elements of geometry, this is only allotted for the project work. Uh, you can take separate notebook, uh, fresh notebook and you can write with uh, uh, neat headings and neat writing. Okay. See, what is the question of this project work? Observe question, uh, write history of geometry of elements and a definition of uh, fundamental terms of geometry right three axioms and euclid five postulates and construct uh, equilateral triangle whose sides are 5.2 centimeters observe once again Emma. right history of the geometry and definitions of fundamental terms of geometry and write three axioms and euclid five postulates these are very very important actually and uh, construct equilateral triangle whose sides are 5.2 centimeters see how to process uh, in the fresh notebook you can write as it is this question and the process is you can write these steps the first one is the name of the project uh, sorry name of the student uh, what is your name you can write down next class your class rule number what is your rule number name of the project the elements of geometry is the name of the project and aim of the project what is the aim the aim is we are writing what uh, Euclid 5 postulates, fundamental terms of geometry and what uh, Euclid uh, construction of triangle, equilateral triangle. The aim of the project is we are constructing constructing the equilateral triangle and fundamental terms of geometry. To know, to know about the fundamental terms of geometry and three axioms or uh, Euclid 5 postulates. Okay. Uh, which one is better you can write that is the aim of the project. Okay. Materials required. What materials are required? Uh, means pen, pencil scale compass protractor like that a notebook like that what material is required you can write as it is resources the resources are uh, ssc our ntsc textbook sorry not ntsc uh, it is what actually it is called our ninth class state textbook and uh, some uh, internet what you can utilize the sources internet like that what are the resources you can write down now the process see the process is in the notebook you can the process first one write down history you can write the history what i mentioned in the textbook textbook in mentioned only history and the update jayana next second heading is fundamental terms of geometry it would then mention yes to the textbook claim and the and the as it is the fundamental terms of geometry heading in the render next to axioms what is the axiom definition uh, actually write about two or three axioms mention just the random definition of conjecture you can write uh, the conjecture definition these are the euclid five postulates euclid five postulate you can write postulate one two three four five as usual okay but first uh, i will explain what are the postulate actually with the randy notebook lo. and in notes pump is clear ga. but postulates and entity with them first what is postulate one Okay, I will I will give the brief explanation. What is postulate one? Uh, what is postulate two? What is postulate three? Postulate four? Postulate five? Later, no, no, next video. No, one no, brief explanation. Okay, next uh, construction. No, number five is construction of equilateral triangle whose sides are five point two centimeters. Okay, construction of equilateral triangle whose sides are five point two centimeters. Along with steps, you can write down. See how can we construct the equilateral triangle? What is the step one? You can observe first to draw the line segment with 5.2 centimeters. You can draw with scale. Next, use compass. Use compass. Take 5.2 centimeters length compass. Now draw the arc using compass like that. Okay. See, use compass. Use compass. Take 5.2 centimeters length. Draw the arc like that. See, at the same length, use compass. Again, use compass at B, the next point. Use compass at B. Again, take 5.2 centimeters length. Draw one more arc. Okay. The point 4 is, the point of intersection is, take C. Take C. Uh, now, join AC, join BC. 
now this a b c is the equilateral triangle these are the steps okay you can construct the triangle and you can write the steps conclusion you can write the conclusion what you observed what you known well known about this project ee project cheyadam valla meeku upayogam endi em em nerchukunnaru anta kuda conclusion rasayanamma this is the process of the project okay next i will explain uh, what you can uh, update what are the main terms em em update cheyal anni nenu mention chestu untaa okay na see సీ ఈ ఈ నోట్ బుక్ మీ టెక్స్ట్ బుక్లో ఉన్నటువంటి క్లియర్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ అమ్మ హిస్టరీ అండ్ హెడ్డింగ్ ఉంది నేను రెడ్ పెన్తో అండర్లైన్ చేసిన ప్రతి వర్డ్ కూడా ప్రతి సెంటెన్స్ కూడా మీరు హిస్టరీ కింద రాసుకోండి ప్రాజెక్ట్ వర్క్లో ఓకేనా హిస్టరీ ఈ గ్రీక్ లెటర్స్ నుంచి వచ్చింది అదంటే క్లియర్ అబ్జర్వ్ చేయండి ఇక సెకండ్ పేజ్ కూడా అప్ టు ఎండ్ అయ్యేంత వరకు రాసుకోండి సెకండ్ పేజ్లో ఇంపార్టెంట్ డెఫినేషన్స్ ఉన్నాయి అట్లా దీనిలో మెయిన్గా ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఆథర్ ఈక్లుడ్ గురించి ఉంది ఈక్లుడ్ రోడ్ థర్టీన్ బుక్స్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ద ఎలిమెంట్స్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ అనే బుక్స్ చాలా ఇంపార్టెంట్ దాని గురించి ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ రెడీ చేసుకోండి ఈ పేజ్ వెరీ 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 ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఇలా వన్ డైమెన్షనల్ టూ డైమెన్షనల్ త్రీ డైమెన్షనల్ డయాగ్రామ్స్ డ్రా చేయాలి నెక్స్ట్లో సాలిడ్ సర్ఫేసెస్ లైన్స్ పాయింట్ దెన్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద పాయింట్ లైన్ స్ట్రేట్ లైన్ సర్ఫేస్ డెఫినేషన్స్ ఇవి అన్నీ కూడా అండర్లైన్ చేశాను ఆ రెడ్ పెయిన్ తోటి అక్కడ డయాగ్రామ్లో చూడండి యూక్లిడ్ ద ఫాదర్ ఆఫ్ ద జామెట్రీ ఈజ్ ద యూక్లిడ్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ అండర్లైన్ రెడ్ పెయిన్ తోటి అండర్లైన్ చేసిన ప్రతి వర్డ్ అండ్ ప్రతి సెంటెన్స్ రాసుకోండమ్మా ద డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎగ్జామ్ ఇచ్చాను ఎగ్జామ్స్ ఆర్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ సెల్ఫ్ ఎవిడెంట్ ఇట్స్ అ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ డెఫినేషన్స్ అండ్ త్రీ ఎగ్జామ్స్ ఇక్కడ ఉన్నాయి ఇవి ఈజీగా ఉంటాయి అండర్స్టాండ్ చేసుకొని రాసుకోండి ఓకే సి అబ్జర్వ్ దిస్ పేజ్ వీ హ్యావ్ ద ఇంపార్టెంట్ డెఫినేషన్ కంజెక్చర్ ద స్టేట్మెంట్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ నైదర్ ప్రూవ్డ్ నార్ డిస్ప్రూవ్డ్ కొన్ని స్టేట్మెంట్స్ని ప్రూవ్ చేయలేము డిస్ప్రూవ్ చేయలేము అటువంటి స్టేట్మెంట్స్ ఏమంటామంటే కంజెక్చర్ అంటాము దానికి ఒక ఎగ్జాంపుల్ కూడా ఇవ్వడం జరిగింది క్లియర్గా రాయండి అమ్మ అండర్స్టాండ్ చేసుకోండి ఓకే ఐఎమ్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయినింగ్ అబౌట్ యూక్లిడ్ ఫైవ్ పోస్ట్లెట్స్ ద పోస్ట్లెట్ వన్ ఈజ్ దెర్ ఈస్ ఎ యూనిక్ లైన్ పాసెస్ త్రూ గివెన్ టు డిస్టింక్ట్ పాయింట్స్ అబ్జర్వ్ గివెన్ టు డిస్టింక్ట్ పాయింట్స్ హౌ మెనీ లైన్స్ ఆర్ పాసెస్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ A, B is a line. See, this is a line. Clear line, A, B. How many lines are processed through this A, B? Two distinct points. A, B are two distinct points. Only one straight line passes through two distinct points. Example, at the point A, observe. At the point A, we can draw number of uh, lines. At the point B, observe. We can draw number of lines. But uh, from these two different points, only one line passes through these two different points okay this is called very very important posted one there is a unique line passes through given two distinct points next one see the posted two a line segment can be extended on either side to form a line this is the posted two a line segment can be extended on either side to form a line observe pq is a line segment it has two end points extend q side extend p side definitely the extension means it indicates a straight line okay next postlet 3 we can describe a circle with any center and radius we can describe a circle with any center and radius different radius these could different circles form jeyach ante meaning ikkada see the first circle with radius 1 second circle with radius 2 the third circle with radius 3 the fourth circle is radius 4 and to describe a circle we require what actually we required a center example i will take this as a center this is a center by you using the radius example 10 units radius length we can draw the circle and the means we can draw the circles based on different centers and different radius okay next post at number 4 all right angles are equal to one another all right angles are equal to one another observe the first to right angle 90 degrees the direction change right angle 90 degrees another direction 90 degrees another direction 90 degrees you can take any right angle all right angles are always equal to one another this is a one more concept and postlet number 5 if a straight line falling on two straight lines makes the interior angles on the same side less than two right angles means less than 180 two right angles is equal to 180 degrees then the two straight lines are not parallel meet at a point observe actually manaku uh, we know well known about the transversal the transversal definitely two lines are parallel interior angles are 180 degrees but here observe example this is a falling straight line on the two straight lines these are the two straight lines this is a falling straight line the sum of two interior angles same side interior angles is less than 180 less than two right angles then definitely they are not parallel uh, example observe uh, if it is 180 means definitely it is parallel 
it is less than 180 means definitely this line meets the first line at some other point observe i am extending this line i am extending this line definitely they meet at a point they are not parallel this is called postlet number 5 clear observation postlet 1 is based on the line passes through distinct point extension of line segment is postlet number 2 based on center and radius we can draw the different circles is a postlet number 3 next uh, all right angles are equal this is postlet number 4 postlet number 5 is the uh, two lines are not parallel if uh, any transversal makes less than 180 interior same side angles okay these are called uh, five postlets okay this is uh, about the postlets observe this diagram also indicates the postlet number five uh, x comma y angle the sum is less than 180 definitely the two straight lines meets at a point of these are very very important definitions as per euclid a point a line and a plane are undefined terms a triangle a square etc are defined terms